Today we are going to be taking a look at this, the River 2 portable power station from EcoFlow. Now this is an all-in-one power station which has mains output, DC output, fast charging and in this video I'm going to walk you through its features and capabilities and then at the end I'm going to share with you my thoughts having spent some time with this device. Now just to be clear up front, EcoFlow have sent me this for free, however they have not paid me to make this video and as always my thoughts are entirely my own. Anyway, let's get on with it. Let's take a closer look at what this is all about first of all and then at the end I'm going to share with you my thoughts having spent some time with it over the last few weeks. Okay, so the River 2 from EcoFlow is an updated version of their original River portable power station. This new model features an all new battery management system that not only helps look after the battery to give you the best possible life, but it now allows for some really fast charging as well. This new model features AC charging input of up to 360 watts, allowing you to charge it from 0 to 100% in just one hour. Not only though does it allow you to charge on AC, you can charge it on DC as well from 11 to 30 volts up to 8 amp max allowing you to charge it via your car or via solar panels whilst out in the field. This new model features LFP battery technology, which means it should give you at least 80% capacity at over 3000 cycles. Whilst a lot has changed on the input of this model, there's also a lot of changes on the output as well. This model here is the UK version, which has a three pin plug, which supports up to 300 watts of output, but up to 600 watts using X boost. It has two USB A ports, which support up to 2.4 amp or 12 watts of output, as well as a USB C port for up to 60 watts of output on all the usual voltages, such as five, nine, 15 and 20. Not only does that USB-C port act as an output, it also acts as an input as well and you can even charge the unit via that USB-C port too. It also features a traditional DC socket which is 12.6 volts, 8 amp output. The real nice thing about the new battery management system on all the new River models is that it features that LCD display on the front which gives you details about how the system is actually performing but you also have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity allowing you to not only view the status of the device but control it via your smartphone as well and even do things like update the firmware. A nice feature with the new battery management system is that it allows you to individually control the outputs on the AC and DC and you can even control them remotely via the app too. Now as I mentioned the model I've got here is the UK model with the three pin plug. The US model has a dual plug output with the same wattage capability and if this model doesn't have enough output for you they do make a pro model which goes up to 768 watt hour as well with higher outputs available on the AC sockets. Looking around the back, you will find the AC and DC inputs. The AC is a traditional three pin style PC kettle cable and the DC is an XT60. Included with the box will be the AC cable for your region and they also include a DC cable for connecting to a standard DC output like you find on most vehicles. But as I've mentioned, you can charge via solar panels as well up to eight amp max. Taking a look at the River 2 externally, the 256 watt hour model I've got here weighs 3.5 kilos and is 245 by 214 by 142 deep. You can see at the back, it also has this nice integrated carry handle and it balances nicely in the hand, allowing you to move it around quickly and easily. Looking around the rest of it externally, obviously on the back here, we have our AC and DC inputs and then there's a cooling fan here in the middle to cool the internal battery and electronics. On the bottom, you'll find four rubber feet that just hold it in place. And other than the, what you find on the front panel, that is pretty much about it externally. However, there is one other thing I do want to mention in that is that the top of the River 2 is actually recessed slightly. And what that means is if you put your devices on the top, they're not going to easily slip off. And it's just a nice little touch that they've added into the lid of the unit. 
As I mentioned earlier, one of the nice features about the battery management system on the new River 2 is the fact that it supports Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and you can actually use the EcoFlow app. If you download the app from the App Store, you can connect it to your device and it gives you full information of what is going on as it does on the display. So you can see the current available time, the current input, the current output. But what's really nice is that you can even control these two outputs via your smartphone as well. So for instance, if I tap on the AC, you can see I can turn it on and the little LEDs come on telling me that the power socket is now on or I can turn on the DC as well. So if you're using it in a camping situation, it's really nice that you have the ability to remotely control it without actually having to physically touch the front of the device. And it gives you all the information about what's going on on the USB ports as well, giving you an indication of how much life you're going to get from the device. Now, as this is my channel, I am going to do some electrical tests on this just to see what sort of voltages we're getting at the DC, the AC, as well as the USB ports, just to make sure everything aligns up correctly. So the first thing we'll do is check the DC output. Now, this is rated at 12.6 volt. So what I'm going to do is put my multimeter probe down into there. We're going to then touch up the outside, look on the multimeter, and there you can see we are getting 12.645 exactly, all looking good. Next, we're going to check the AC side of things. Now, what I'm about to do is plug into the AC socket with the probes. You should not do this at home. I am an experienced electrical engineer. You only should do what is recommended by the manufacturer. So what I'm going to do is just get it connected. There we go. The multimeter probes are all connected. I'm going to turn the AC output on. And then you can see we're getting 232 volts AC. It is set to the UK voltage, so it is sitting absolutely spot on. The final ports we're going to check is our two USB-A ports. And we're going to do this with this plug-in USB tester. So I'm just going to plug that in there. We're going to pop it back down there. And that one there is currently showing at 4.90 volts. And if we jump across to there, that one is currently showing at 4.90. 9091 volts as well. We'll just put that under a bit of load just to see what it sits at. Okay, so we've now got it connected on a load and it's now showing up at 4.97, which is basically spot on. As mentioned at the start, the River 2 series uses LFP batteries or what are known as Life PO4s. These can offer up to six times the cycles of traditional packs and that is where you're able to get over 3,000 cycles still retaining up to 80% capacity. Add to that their new battery management system that monitors voltage, current and temperature that offers a whole host of features as you've seen already but includes the ability for the device to act as a backup power supply as well in the event of power loss. If you power your device from this unit via the built-in pure sine wave inverter, in the event of a power loss, it will actually switch over to the internal battery in under 30 milliseconds, giving you continuous uninterrupted power. Okay, so it's a few weeks later and I've been using the River 2 extensively ever since it was sent to me. I've tried using it out in the field. I've been using it to charge the Avata drone from DJI using the USB-C output and that. It takes about 15% capacity from from fully charged. I've been using it to charge my phones and it really has been a very handy bit of kit. Further to that, I took it with me on holiday to France where we went to Disneyland and it was the main power bank that I used for me and my family whilst away. It was used for charging our phones, our Apple watches, but also charging my boy's laptop as well. And after a full week of use, it still had 35% capacity left. I think this is a very, very good product. And what I like about this is you've got a lot of options with it. Yes, there are cheaper battery banks out there that will offer just USB output. However, what you've got here is that mains output if you want it. You've got the 12 volt socket on the other side as well. And you've got then that high power USB if you need it too. And it gives you all of those extra features such as the USB-C charging if you want it, the fast one hour charging, off the main AC input at the back, but you've got DC charging too. I have popped the lid on this and had a quick look inside. And whilst I'm not going to show you anything in this video, this unit does appear to be extremely well made. The PCBs and everything look of an extremely high quality, and I've got zero concerns about the build quality of this product at all. 
Now, whilst I've talked about the good, there is always a few downsides to any product. And for me, about the only one on this is the noise it makes whilst it's rapid charging. It is charging right now, and you can probably hear it in the background. I'll stop talking in a moment. There, you can hear the noise of the fan at the back. Now, obviously, because it has this fast one hour rapid charge, it needs to get rid of heat from inside the device quickly, and it has a large fan at the back that does that. If you are using it, though, with that rapid charging, you are going to hear it, and that's about the only complaint that I would have with the product. Overall, if you're looking to get yourself a portable power station, I see no reason not to consider one of these. That's why the basic model I have here of the River 2 comes in at about £270 UK and it's under $300 US. For that, you're getting that mains power system, you're getting the DC output, the fast charging, the app functionality, and overall, I think it's a very, very handy piece of kit to have, especially if you're someone that does a lot of traveling. It would be nice for me to have the larger version just to give me a bit of extra capacity out in the field but I'll be honest I haven't flattened this one yet and on the five day holiday with the family it was still at 35% as I explained earlier. Now there is a link to this in the description if you're interested in getting one. It is an affiliate link. Whilst I don't usually use affiliate links on this channel I am using one with this product. However as always my thoughts are entirely my own. I was sent this for free however I would not say it is good if I didn't think it was and if you're interested in getting yourself one please do check out that link. Anyway that's it from me stay safe I will speak to you soon.